we all have those points where like, man, it would just be so much easier if I went and worked for somebody else. But, you know, one of my big whys for the company is we and I love to create jobs. I absolutely love to create opportunities for people who are considered the underdog, you know, because many, many times in my life, I have been the underdog um, where nobody gives me a shot. Nobody believed in me, whatever. Right. And so, you know, most of our staff are in Latin America. Uh, the majority are in Mexico. And I love to be able to create jobs and show the world that there are these amazing folks in a country where most people don't think that anything good comes out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. We kind of heard the things on the news and what people say and da, 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 and that mm -hmm. rhetoric. Right. And so that's one of the things that drives me is this big legacy. Like at the end of the day, whether our company is successful or not, we are going to change the people, the perspective that people have about this, these countries. Mm -hmm. So that personally really drives me every single day. <clears throat> and let me, let me just, let me just peel the onion layer. Let me just peel the onion skin back one, one layer, right? Absolutely. Ask away. What happens if you do that? If you succeed, right? And I can tell you now, I live in Australia, right? And we are told all the time, don't go to Mexico, man. It's right. fucking yeah. dangerous. Like, there are Australian surfers murdered in Mexico a couple of years ago, right? There's people murdered everywhere, all over the world, every single day. It doesn't mean yeah. Mexico is any worse than anywhere else. But these are the messages we get in the media because people are going to sell newspapers. So I, I kind of go, well, shit, I'll go to Mexico if you chaperone me, dude, and I'll hang out with you because then I know I'm going to be safe, right? But I'm not yeah, going yeah. out on my own. So what happens if you are successful? Like, why does that matter? I was just interviewed and actually they, this morning uh, for a newspaper here in San Diego and they asked me the same question. Um, one of my personal dreams, and I have absolutely no financial gain in this whatsoever, but one of my dreams is that one of our team members, let's just say a developer here in, in Mexico, mm -hmm. gets an opportunity because of what we taught them, the values that we taught them, the work ethic that we taught them, or I should say that we brought out of them, right? Mm -hmm. That we empowered them with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, gets a job in the United States and they go from making, you know, a, like two times the national, well, I should say like four times the national average in Mexico mm -hmm. to now making over a hundred thousand dollars a year in the United States. Mm -hmm. And the impact that that has not only on them, but on their families and mm -hmm. everybody that they know, because it's mm -hmm. not just financial. Mm -hmm. It's no. the psychological impact that shows other people that, hey, we can do this. Yes. And if you've never been in that position before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you don't really understand. But I'm guessing that there's some people on the call that get it, right? Mm. Mm. When somebody else paves the way, mm. it really does show other people that it's possible. It just takes yeah. that one person. Like, you know, the, um, the guy who broke the four-minute mile. Um, yeah. Why is his name escaping me right now? Yeah. Oh, man. Somebody's got to pop it in the chat because I can't remember yeah, yeah. the name. Yeah. Um, I just talked about him like a month ago too with our with our team, um, and so uh, Roger, you know Roger just Bannister. Roger Bannister, right? So it just Bannister. takes one person. Now there's been over fifteen hundred people, over fifteen hundred people who've broken the four minute mile since that happened. <laughs> right. um, so if we get, if I got one of my team members, if I, if we somehow create an opportunity for them to go work in the United mm. States, they got a job, or it could be anywhere, Australia, Great Britain, wherever, where they're making over a hundred k a year. That creates generational wealth for their family, and it completely changes the, tra the trajectory for them mm -hmm. and probably everybody else around them that they know, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's beautiful is that now that everybody's so accustomed to working remote, they don't necessarily have to leave Mexico. Mm -hmm. They can stay here, enjoy mm -hmm. the amazing cost of li living down here, but making mm -hmm. an American wage, mm -hmm. and they're able to travel back and forth if needed. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that's something that personally really, really excites me. Mm -hmm. I, I would just love to be able to pass that on to somebody else. Mm 